Okay, so today I'm going to be looking at the 2 Auto DS882. This one's the soldering iron and the rework station. Which is going to be really nice for me. Nice and heavy. And we got our base for our soldering iron. That's cool. So it's got the brass and it's got the sponge. And then this, that's going to be for holding on to the rework station. Probably like this, I'm guessing. Something like that. Okay, right. Yeah, that makes sense. That's going to be cool. And we've got a couple nozzles for it. Let's concentrate the heat. Soldering iron. That has got a nice rubber grip to it. That feels great. I like that. Sucker. This one's actually got a metal shaft on the on the uh, on the shaft. A couple tips. Nice flow tip and a thick wedge tip. It's a uh, 90 watt. It's going to be a little more powerful than the average soldering iron. Got a little tube of solder. Some nice tweezers. Nice and sharp. And it looks like the plug can come off. And it looks like the regular old uh, computer power supply port. All right. I'm really looking forward to using this one. That's cool. That is a good looking tip. So I see a slot and I see a detent, so it's got to go right there. Unless I am mistaken. Oh, I was mistaken. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was way mistaken. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually at the bottom. Cool, that actually just clips in. It's not even a twist one. I like that. and hot oh that is a good fit oh that's nice yeah. all right now for everybody's favorite part let's see if I can do this without making a mess this time oh that is beautiful That is interesting. Oh, okay, there we go. Made a little bit of a mess, but it was totally worth it. All right, so let's go ahead and prep our soldering iron. This one's a 90 watts, so this is going to be able to heat up a bit more solder. I should say a bit more material the average soldering iron, so I'm looking forward to that. Fifty, okay, it's going to 380 Celsius. I already see it smoking. And it is melting. Wow, it's melting at 320. That is pretty darn good. I don't know if that's to say a, a lot of quality about the, the solder or, uh, <laughs> or how well it, the tip actually physically heats up. All right, let's go ahead and reduce the temp.
That did so well at uh, 320. We'll just do that. And I really love the fit. Like, the fit is just awesome. Alright, so I'm just going to throw a few of these ceramic capacitors in here. That lays down really nice. Super even. Good solder. Really good soldering iron. I am super impressed. And now I get to play with the thing that I've actually been really looking forward to. And I get to use the tweezers for this too. So what I'm going to do is instead of even bothering trying to use a soldering iron, I'm going to use the, uh, the rework station. guys just pop right out. Let's look at these ones while I'm at it. Too easy. And that's going to keep blowing air for a little while until it cools down. This thing makes it real easy to work and rework little boards. Now, well, there's one other thing that uh, a rework station is really good for, and that is surface mount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some solder. That's so cool. By the time I got this thing up to temp, or by the time I got the solder pulled out, it was already up to temp. Alright. So I'm going to try to just add a bubble. Then add a bubble over here. shut this off. Now this is not a surface mount resistor, but you'll get the idea. If I had a surface mount resistor, let's heat these two bubbles up.
There we go. Isn't that nice? That is going to make pretty much every job way easier. This is a great, 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 great little kid.